It is a year. Write this one down. That there will be a discovery of some difficult cases like image sickness that have no trace. The number of COVID-19 cases has gone well over half a million across the world. The U.S. has now reported more than 100,000 cases. For more on this, we have our Kan Young-ho on the line. Hyung-ho, fill us in. The pandemic is accelerating in the U.S. as COVID-19 cases doubled in just three days. There's breaking news to tell you as the country of Italy has reached a very grim milestone today. Let's go to NBC's Matt Bradley, who's joining us once again from a, a very darkened and somewhat desolate Rome. What do you know? 10,000. Now we have more than nearly uh, 900 dead just today here in Italy. And yesterday it was a very, very grim milestone. It was the largest number of deaths in one day, nearly a thousand deaths in one day. That's the largest for any country. The other focus point is fast becoming Spain. And now this is a country that is also now badly hit by the disease. We've seen the number of cases really rocket in the past days. There's now more than 56,000 cases that have been reported. The number of deaths have really escalated. 600 people died over the past 24 hours. And the day prior to that, that number climbed to more than 700 people. Now we're seeing the country, as I mentioned, come under a lot of pressure. We've seen those pictures, those images of hospitals really struggling to keep up. Madrid, the capital city of Spain, had to turn a convention center into a hospital to be able to deal with the number of patients that are coming uh, through with symptoms and of the disease and need treatment. The number of imported COVID-19 cases has climbed to 228. Authorities now face the challenge of preventing another wave of infections. The overseas Chinese are returning to China. Now, it is a year, write this one down, that there will be a discovery of some difficult cases like uh, email sickness that have no trace. Let's get right to our top story, the expanding outbreak of the deadly coronavirus. Look at the map. What started in China has now spread to Europe, Australia, and the United States. The Chinese health commissioner now warning the source of the infection still unknown. We had discovery of some difficult cases like uh, email sickness that have no trace, that have no trace, that have no trace. The Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention today reported over 1,000 COVID-19 cases in 40 African countries. Now, Nigeria has 14 new cases, with one in the federal capital territory, one in Bochi and 12 in Lagos, bringing the country's total to 65 cases, 62 active cases, three discharged and one death. I pray that this year, the kind of rain that we've not seen, that we put people at the run, that have never dropped in some countries. Everyone, let that rain not come in the name of Jesus. This year, the kind of rain that we've not seen, that we put people at the run, that have never dropped in some countries. Everyone, let that rain not come in the name of Jesus. It's the worst flooding in decades. Intense rains have swept through the Brazilian states of Minas Gerais, Rio de Janeiro, and Espírito Santo. One of the deadliest effects of the record rainfall has been the mudslides. The death toll from the heavy rains continues to rise, so does the number of people left homeless. Lower-lying regions of the Belo Horizonte metropolitan area, the floodwaters have nowhere left to go. A major incident has been declared in South Wales as the strong winds and heavy rain from Storm Dennis causes flooding and disruption across the UK. There are a record number of flood alerts and flood warnings in England. Travel continues to be affected. Helena Wilkinson has the latest. In Glasgow, the River Clyde was battered by torrential rain. Scotland has borne the brunt of the storm. Three severe flood warnings remain in place for the borders. We want to go away. We want to go away. The braces. It didn't want to come again. It has been calm now, but wants to come again. Many of you know what I mean by braces. Those who are, who are covered with UK, we want to go. 
want to be on our own. And let's just start with the lowering of the union flag. Every member state has its flag flying as a member of this club of 28. Well, it's 27 now, and as the union flag disappears, the EU's own flag goes up in its place. That is folded and put away, possibly for another day, possibly never to be seen again. It's likely to end up in a museum, we're told. In fact, the UK's representative to the European Union. Well, they don't have that position anymore. So the plaque has been removed and in its place, a new plaque. We want to go where we want to go where the braces. It didn't want to come again. It has been calm now, but wants to come again. Many of you know what I mean by braces. Those who are, who are cover sandwich. UK, we want to go. We want to be on our own. This Friday, when Big Ben strikes 11 p.m. in London and it's midnight in Brussels, it'll be official. The UK no longer a member state of the European Union. It is a year, listen, to pray against the spirit of death. And like I prayed for you, none of it, as we saw last year, last two years, none of it will near your door. Every program of that your family is cancelled. Agony in Europe tonight as Italy's death toll passes 10,000. A day after another morbid milestone, 919 dead on Friday, the most in one day in any country. Global cases rising above 650,000, with more than 30,000 dead. In nearby Spain, authorities today reported 832 more deaths, the country's highest daily count yet, bringing the total to 5,690. This ice rink converted into a makeshift morgue. Hospitals struggling to cope. Health workers infected here at an alarming rate. More than 9,000 contracting the virus. Of course, the, the growth, Italian civil protection published new figures of the coronavirus um, outbreak after the surge in the number of deaths yesterday uh, when 919 people uh, lost their lives in one day. Uh, the trend is very similar today. There were 889 deaths in the last uh, 24 hours. More than 10,000 people have now died for, from the virus in, in the country, a number three times higher than the whole China. Uh, the increase in the contagion stabilized under a 10% rate daily. Uh, the new confirmed cases are around 6,000 uh, for the third day in a row bringing the total number of positive people over 92,000. Uh, the most serious situation is still here in Lombardy, in the north of Italy, where the 60% of the uh, total Italian deaths come from. Uh, today, 542 died and 2,117 tested positive. Uh, in the region, 1,400 people are hospitalized in intensive care units. say yeah listen to pray against the spirit of death and like i pray for you none of it as we saw last year last two years none of it will near your door A burial in hazmat suits. One of thousands of victims of the coronavirus outbreak in Spain. A shortage of equipment and medical staff has left doctors and nurses overwhelmed. Amnesty International reports that over 9,000 Spanish health service workers have become infected with the virus, more than in any other country.
number of deaths in the United Kingdom have reached 578. It's an increase of 113, uh, which I think is one of the biggest increases, one of the biggest daily increases uh, so far. Let's go to Katie Spencer, who is in the Sky newsroom. And Katie, a sizable increase in the number of deaths in the UK. We should pray for, this is data state. We should pray for our neighbor state. One of their prominent voice. I saw people dancing around. Your own is too much, your own is too much. I'm tempted to call the neighbor, I won't call it. When I mean neighbor, very close. Neighbor state. The Lord will fight against any conspiracies in the name of Jesus. A group of protesters calling themselves concerned ABC youth today stormed the party secretariat in Abuja, demanding the removal of Mr. Adams Yashomele as the party's national chairman. The protesters called on President Mohamed Buhari to intervene in order to arrest what they describe as the dwindling fortunes of the party under Mr. Yashomele. We should pray for this is data state. We should pray for our neighbor state. One of their prominent voice. I saw people dancing around. Your own is too much, your own is too much. I'm tempted to call the neighbor, I won't call it. When I mean neighbor, very close. Neighbor state. The Lord will fight against any conspiracies in the name of Jesus. And just before we go, some breaking news reaching us says it is a victory for Adam Zoshomole. As a court of appeal has ordered a stay of execution on the ruling delivered by Justice Dalami Senchi of the FCT High Court Jabi, which suspended Adams Oshomole as the national chairman of the APC. Now, this means Oshomole stays as chairman, and we'll bring you more details as we get them. <laughs>